Today I'm taking a look at this solar charge controller that I bought from AliExpress and two things jumped out at me at the listing about this solar charge controller. One, well I thought it looked quite a lot like this range of solar charge controllers that I was quite pleased with in the past. Pleased enough that I actually designed the PWM85 solar charge controller, um, circuit board at least, to sit inside the case of this. Yeah, these were really cheap and that was the second thing. This was super cheap as well, just $10 delivered to my home and for ten dollars you get quite a lot for your money i think let's turn this around uh, it's got an lcd led display it's pwm although the listing i bought it from in the uh, the title did actually say mppt but didn't say anything like that in the description uh, yeah definitely pwm all the necessary protections equipped and uh, controlling parameters are adjustable, which is quite nice, isn't it? And like I say, at just $10, well, I could hardly say no. Um, this is the 10 amp version here I've got, but actually, for an extra dollar, that is all, I was able to also buy this one, which is a 30 amp version. So for an extra dollar, you can triple your current. So out of the box, it seems reasonable. The connections seem okay for the 10 amp model. Uh, the buttons, well, they seem to work. There's USB ports. Um, this DC jack I've just noticed here, that one's marked to be a solar. So presumably that's an input. And then that's marked with a lamp, presumably that is an output which is an interesting thing isn't it the manual here seems quite comprehensive and is in color which is nice uh the display settings the rotation of the display is outlined here short press of the menu key which i think is that one on the left hand side um cycles through this menu and a long press allows you to adjust the parameters um the technical parameters are outlined here. It charges up to 14.4 volts, apparently. Float charge 13.7. It will discharge all the way down to 10.7 before turning off that load. And it won't turn back on again until it reaches 12.6 volts. Charge reconnect 13 volts. So presumably, once the battery drops to this level, it presumably does another equalization charge, perhaps. Mentions here that all the red voltage um, two times when using 24 volts because this is a 12 or 24 volt solar charge controller. So yeah, if you uh, connect this to a 24 volt system, then it will charge up to 28.8 volts. Comparing the 10 amp here on the left with the 30 amp model on the right, well, as you can see, they look absolutely identical the uh, terminals look the same as well and on the back there's no increased heat sink or anything on this one on the right the only obvious difference between the two of them is the fact that this one oh, upside down says 10 amps whereas this one has a different sticker saying 30 amps let's open them up and see what they're like on the inside and with hopefully the labels still visible, we'll take the back off this one. You can see on the 10 amp model, we've got the MOSFETs there that were connected to that metal sheet at the back to uh, dissipate some of the heat. And on the right, hmm, okay. Yeah, not a lot to see, but clearly the same arrangement there of MOSFETs and or diodes yes absolutely the same i think let's uh, take these screws out and get to the front of these so comparing the two boards side by side we have a version 2 in the 30 amp model and a version 1 in the 10 amp model but other than that, I actually can't see 
any real difference whatsoever. Um, there doesn't seem to be any increased current carrying capabilities. The uh, connectors are the same physical size. Even the current sense resistors, although slightly different, are the same value. Yeah, I really can't see what I'm getting for my extra dollar that I paid for the one on the right from the same seller than the one on the left. The clean 30 amp model on the right, apart from that silkscreen version number, seems exactly the same. There they are, back in their cases. I do hope I got the right board back in the right case, eh? Right, um, I think I'll use the 10 amp one and we'll plug it into a battery, plug it into a solar panel and have a quick look at it. Okay, so we will power this up first time. That goes in there. The LCD is illuminating. Just tighten that up. Excuse my hands. Uh, there you go. So this is connected to a lead acid battery that it is claiming is sat at about 12 and a half volts Reasonably well charged and the load is on but there's no animation over here because yeah, that's correct There's no solar attached. Let me just uh, Readjust the camera so that we can see things a little bit better. I think that's probably a better angle there Let's just get a solar panel connected into here and this is a 50 watt monocrystalline panel on the roof of the shed. And I have to say, I'm afraid it's not the best day for checking out solar charge controllers here. Oops, in the north of England. But as you can see, we are getting a charge and the battery has risen up apparently to 13.1 volts. And uh, yeah, energy is coming in and energy is going to the load so yeah 13.2 presumably that will charge or attempt to charge up to that equalization voltage or perhaps it will just be the float voltage but either way i suspect it will go through its motions i'm interested in the menu system so this seems to be the down button also seems to change the load so if you press that that turns the load off and on again that seems fairly straightforward now we're going through the menu system here apparently it's 24 degrees C according to this little thermistor that pokes through that hole um, 1.7 amps coming from that PV panel well I can imagine that's within something sensible uh the load there's nothing the load um it shows amp hours of the pv and amp hours of the load as well and uh does that mean i've turned the pv off that's interesting now it says pv off but the animation's still going i don't know what that means pv off load off pv off no i don't want the pv off please load on oh i see load on 24 hours right okay should look through these menus before i started using it really shouldn't i so i've been watching this for a while now and uh, yeah it seems to be charging my batteries just fine um 14.2 volts though which is a little bit high for me uh, but i've had a look at the menu and if we see now if we press this button on the left we can see the temperature we can see that i had one and a half amps going into my battery nothing going out to a load at the moment uh i've apparently generated two amp hours and not used anything at the moment pv off i should be able to change this value pressing and holding that left hand number so I can bring the voltage that it's charging my battery down to 13.8. That's good for me. Um, the load on, the load's on when the battery is above 12.6 volts. And um, we've lost that, haven't we? 
Um, so if I go back to here and press and hold, you can see that's the PV off, the load on, so the load's on at 12.6 volts and above, load off is at 10.7 and uh, the load is on for 24 hours you can make this turn on and off um, after sunset uh, for periods of time if that's the sort of thing you're interested in all those details are in that um, brochure that that instruction manual so this super cheap pwm solar charge controller is actually all right i think it's got lots of features with the lcd adjustable parameters and the usb ports um, which i have tested up to two and a half amps actually um, but unfortunately i wouldn't bother getting its bigger brother because well from a hardware point of view they're absolutely identical i guess the firmware could limit in here to 10 amps and this one would be different presumably and limit to 30 amps but the hardware is exactly the same and to be honest if i was had 30 amps of solar i probably wouldn't be putting it through one of these devices one thing i forgot to check earlier i'm fairly sure i know but let's just check if this is common positive or common negative so there we've got the and it seems to be common positive so that yeah this is a common positive solar charge controller and do you know what for the money for ten dollars i think it's all right hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i'll see you next time thanks for watching